Here is how you can recreate the CRT look using Kaden Live. Now, before we get started, I've been working on some of the motion graphics and other videos that some of you have asked for, and this might take a bit longer to produce since these are somewhat heavier productions, especially with coming up with the, the ideas themselves, how to present the lessons. All right, so let's get into it. So we have our clip here in Kaden Live, which is quite sharp. So the first thing we'll do is go over to the effects and we're going to look for Pixelize and grab the pixelize effect. Now, of course, this is a little overkill. I'll drop the block size X to two and the block size Y to four. This should ever so slightly pixelize our image and decrease the sharpness. So we go from something as sharp as what we had before to something a little bit more pixelized. So I'll collapse this. Next, we can add a video equalizer. Now this one is optional, but it's really if you want to adjust the contrast, the brightness and saturation of your clip. So for example, I could increase the saturation a bit, maybe ever so slightly the brightness, and then increase the contrast a bit so that we get more pronounced shadows. Next we have draw grid. So we're going to look for draw grid over here, and this will allow us to add the lines to our footage. So for the thickness, you can leave it to three if you want to. And you can either change the width or the height or both of them, depending on the style you want to go for. So for example, if I set the width to nine, we're going to get vertical bars. And if I set the height to nine, we get horizontal bars. So whichever direction you want. Now the blue is not the color to go with. We'll change the color over here. You can go for black. And since we can't change the blend mode, what I found that somewhat works is to go for black color, but drop the, the alpha to something like 50. To get this little box up here, I simply left click, hold and drag upwards, and it seems to appear. So now we have the black lines, but they're slightly transparent and blending into our video a bit better. I'll collapse this one. The next effect is lens correction. So if we look for lens correction, we'll grab the keyframeable one as the settings are slightly different or the results are slightly different. And now I'll change the center correction from 500 to 600, and then the edge correction from 500 to 700. You can play with these values depending on how bent you want your image to be. We're left with these black borders. So to change this, we're simply going to look for the transform effect. So we can now increase the scale until we no longer see the borders. Next, we have the RGB split. So down here inside of stylize, RGB split. Now for this one, it really depends on you how much you wanna push it, but I'm simply going to increase the horizontal split distance to something between 52 or 53. You can also do some for the vertical if you want. Another option would be to use the RGB shift, which allows you to shift the individual colors manually yourself. But for this, I'll stick with the RGB split. And lastly, this is more of a stylized touch. We can go and look for glow, add the soft glow. I'll decrease the blur of the glow significantly. And I'll leave the brightness as it is. And so now we're introducing a bit of this glow into our scene. Now piling up all of these effects can be quite heavy. So playback will definitely be slow. And if you want to have smooth playback for this, you'll have to use the timeline preview. So set your in and out points for the timeline zone. And then you can click on this little play button up here to render a preview. Now, once you're done creating the effect, you don't have to recreate it from scratch every time. You can simply save it as a preset or a template. So you can click on the disc, give it a name, a description, save it, and you'll have it available for use later on. All right, so I have a Kofi link down in the description if you'd like to support the channel. You can click on this playlist here to learn more about Kaden Live, and thanks for watching.